Hi, everybody. Hola. So great to have an opportunity to talk to you a little bit about the work I do and what I've been doing lately. Welcome to Indiana Court near the corner of 6th Avenue and Brooks in Venice, California. This stretch of alley has been the site of lots of gatherings, art, uh, community initiatives. It's where we gathered to create art block tours of Venice artist studios, and also the place where with Youth Build Youth, uh, working with Venice Community Housing, we created the Wanda Coleman mural. So I make a lot of things here, small murals like this Venice Dreamer, and also large murals like the Whole Foods murals on the corner of Lincoln and Rose inside the store. It's where we created the plans and set out the canvas that we used to make the We Are All Venice uh, image for the chalk circle we created to the Venice Community Arts Arts Initiative. Anyhow, come on in and I'll show you some of the things I've been working on lately and a few more things. A lot of the work I engage in involves responding to the world around me. It's something that I have crafted for a long time to do. A lot of people don't understand that the murals that we're making through these art initiatives in Venice Community Housing wouldn't have been possible a few years ago because the city stopped permitting murals for a while. I'm from Chile, South America. Last October, the country went into a great uprising against uh, the social inequalities that had been caused by the neoliberal market practices in my country. Housing is very important there, as it is here in Venice, California. Right before we went into this COVID era, I had been working for around a year on creating art for the new Venice Bridge housing project. When the project was finally given a green light, I began some fast and furious work with some great local artists, Patrick Marston and Michael Brunt. And right as we finished the project and I was handing off the flash drive that sparked the Social and Public Art Resource Center to output all our work onto vinyl canvases, I had a bike accident and broke my arm severely in many places. That's right. It's like the sun shining in. It's a beautiful, that's what we want. And it comes from us, all of us, all of the people, all of the neighbors, working together. It looks like, it looks actually like millions and trillions of people. You know what I mean? <laughs> Reflecting. We were able to bring into this work narratives not usually associated with what one thinks of when you think about Venice culture, having to do with the cultures and communities that lived here long before Europeans arrived, about nature, our environment, and our cultural diversity. Since I arrived in the United States, as a refugee in exile, an immigrant uh, with few prospects, I continue to have a feeling of working globally while being connected to my neighbors and my community and working locally. I often work with communities and people or organizations that have been marginalized or silenced, people who have experienced trauma and have been disappeared, minimized, and I share that experience with millions of people. In 2003, working with hundreds of people, we created the Becoming the Circle mural on the old Pioneer Bakery. And that mural disappeared. 
Now we have new murals that celebrate our community, its diversity, and the people that live within it. And that's why I'm here with all of you. I'm in it for the long haul. The walls and streets, they'll remember our names.